selfless love Hitler's army had captured an infested Holland for almost 4 years Fear was written on the faces of everyone but especially for Jews and many Jews were taken for questioning by Gestapo and strangely disappeared forever Gestapo were the secret police seemingly the worst of the Nazis soon signs appeared in Dutch shops saying no Jews served here then another sign appeared in a public park saying no Jews allowed Cory's dad was dismayed and said the Jews are the apples of God's eye one day Cory heard a desperate knock on the door Cory didn't hesitate a moment when she saw the fear in the woman's eyes come inside she rushed the woman up to the dining room i am a jew said the woman god's people are always welcome in this house said daddy and what choice did the ten booms have but to hide her and so many people now just came to her off the street always asking for help could she hide a jewish woman and her baby could she find a place for a dutch boy to hide could she get a message to someone in jail and who knows if the plea was coming from a spy for the guest apple and could she ever refuse to help someone who was in real need so the ten booms converted their home into a stopover for many jews before moving them to a safer place but such activities are labeled as enemies of nazis one day cory came down with a terrible flu she lay under her vaporizer aching with every breath what was that sound thumping feet was she dreaming was this real she struggled to rise yes blurted cory this nightmare is real cory jumped from the bed her head booming in pain with every heartbeat voices came from below harsh and demanding in german fast where are the jews no these were not soldiers the gestapo realized cory a man rushed into the bedroom the pasty faced man in the blue suit said in german i have got cornelia ten boom here the ring leader he sneered ring leader that old lady answered another man in german find out where the jews are hidden he sneered 35 people had been arrested that day in their home it includes every ten boom family member they were all taken to a gymnasium before shifting them to prison in a deep steady voice cory's dad caspar ten boom delivered the word of god psalms 91 had never seemed more appropriate it was wonderful to be in the company of david next morning in the prison there was a fuss about cory's father who was 84 years old was it necessary to arrest this old man we don't want an extremely old man like him let someone else take care of him growled an official he leaned over to cory's dad and shouted in dutch listen up old man if i send you home will you behave yourself if i go home said cory's dad i will open my door again to anyone who knocks the headman's face reddened in german he barked type this fool's paper it is an honor to go to prison for god's people persisted cory's dad caspar ten boom cory and betsy's lives are an example of selfless love and forgiveness in the midst of extreme cruelty and persecution we read in 1 corinthians chapter 13 verses 1 to 
If I could speak all the languages of earth and of angels but did not love others I would only be a noisy gong or a clanking cymbal If I had the gift of prophecy and if I understood all of God's secret plans and possess all knowledge and if I had such faith that I could move mountains but did not love others I would be nothing If I gave everything I have to the poor and even sacrifice my body I could boast about it but if I did not love others I would have gained nothing Cory Cory Ten Boom along with other family members selflessly helped many Jews to escape from Hitler's Nazis in World War II For that she was arrested and was sent to a concentration camp In her book The Hiding Place she recounts the story of how she found and shared hope in God while she was imprisoned at the cruel concentration camp